the Mariners just finished playing a game. They won 5-4, to four, but that's not what I'm going to talk about first. What I'm going to talk about first is the fact that earlier today, we fired offensive coordinator and hitting coach Brent Brown, which was an interesting decision because we were like, well, you know, somebody needs to get hired. What's going on? What's going on? And all that. And I was like, uh we don't know what's happening with this. Something needs to happen, like, all season about how the Mariners hitting was bad. And uh, it was bad. It was bad. We lead the league in strikeouts still. Um, I believe we might actually be the only team. Oh, cl- we're close to 600 strikeouts. Stat leaders. Yeah. If we strike out one time tomorrow, we'll have 600 strikeouts. It's pretty hard to not strike out at least once in a game. Pretty much every every team strikes out at least once a game. Uh, But that's 10.9, no, 599 divided. That's exactly 10 strikeouts per game. We've walked 178 times, scored 216 runs. 208 of them are runs batted in, 63 homers, seven triples, 69 doubles. And 425 hits. We are just runs um, after the White Sox and the Cardinals, and the third fewest hits after the Reds and the White Sox. What? The Cardinals are down in fifth fewest. In terms of home runs, we actually rank 10th most with 63, and the Yankees have 86, but they are a ridiculous home run hitting team. Today's game was off to awesome. Brian Wu went six scoreless. He did get pulled at 66 pitches. A lot of people were questioning Scott's decision because Trent Thornton came in in relief in the seventh, loaded up the bases, then we gave up a pinch hit grand slam for the first time since 2012, uh, which is 12 years ago which tied the game at four. Uh, We scored. Cal Raleigh had a sack fly in the first to bring uh, J.P. Crawford home. Then Ty France doubled to bring home Josh Rojas and Julio. Then Cal singled to bring in J.P. in the fifth to make it 4 nothing. Then Joe Adele hit the pinch hit grand slam, his 11th homer of the year, to score himself, Calhoun, Pillar, and O'Hoppy. Uh, and then Ty France had a no doubt homer in the bottom of the eighth, top of the ninth. Mooney came in, uh, gave up one hit, and no runs got the save. Uh, Mariners had nine hits, which is way more than their average. Their average right now, their hits right now are 425 divided by 59 is we average seven hits per game, but that added two hits. That was two more hits than our average, so obviously our hitting coach was doing well. We scored 2.2 runs more than our average today, and in terms of strikeouts, we had five. Julio struck out once, but he walked once. Dom Canzone struck out once. Eh. I went three for three with a walk. He was a triple side of the, side of the cycle. Hanniger struck out twice, and Dylan Moore struck out once. I, I don't like that Hanniger striking out twice and being one for four, playing as the DH, but I get it. Um, I think we're going to have Hanniger as the DH, and Garber's going to be the backup catcher. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if Sebi Zavala gets DFA'd on uh, Monday with our next game uh, day off. Uh, we struck out eight of the Angels, walked two, gave up seven hits. We had nine hits and walked twice, so 11 base runners for us, nine base runners for them, Uh, so that's pretty good. They were one for five with runners in scoring position. We were three for 16 with runners in scoring position. We left seven, but three for 16 with runners in scoring positions mean we had runners in scoring position. Um... Munoz picked off Pillar at first, which was awesome. Uh, that ended the game. It was just absolutely awesome uh, to end the game the way that we did. Uh, and just did. Well, I don't think it was a pick out. 
Okay, yeah, batting picked off and caught stealing second. So, yeah, okay, it was a caught stealing, but I thought it was... The, the way they wrote it was weird on the box score. I was like, what? Um, 